Hi, and welcome to the highlights for Area 3-1, the prisons of the Tower of Latria. The first thing that I want to go over is actually right at the beginning. Me and Tato showed off how to fight the Mind Flayer guards a lot. Those are two people. I really want to emphasize this strategy for fighting. Wait for the paralysis attack. It will run up to you. You can then stun lock them with whatever weapon you're using and take them out fairly easily. Next up is the Legion or Prisoner Horde. I emphasized this in the video and I really have to repeat it. Do not try and fight these guys up close and personal. The way the Prisoner Horde will start flailing around is very dangerous and it's just not worth it overall. Use a ranged weapon like this. However, if this is your first area, you might not have one. Luckily for you, there is actually a crossbow found in this area. If you need some more bolts, the royal, former royal's wife sells black bolts. The thing to note about using a crossbow is that it has a reload time. Much more than a bow does. So, you really have to time your attacks with it, so that you don't get hit right in the face with a good old soul ray arrow. Never really know what the prisoner horde does. You can only assume it's soul ray. Nah, probably not, it's probably soul arrow. So you know, soul ray is the fool's idol spell. But once again, don't go up close and personal. It never ends well. Unless you have two people. <laughs> The next thing I want to show off, I had gotten requests in private chats to do this in the main video, but I just decided to save it for the extras and watch as I flail around and forget which set of fluted armor I had on. But uh, there you go, the one with the lower durability. Anyway, there's a thing known amongst my friends as man moding. Pretty much doing something foolhardy just because it's cool. And what we're going to do is man mode the bridge. Now, I put on more armor and made sure I had fast roll still. Just in case, you know, I get hit. The trick is to find the timing between the arrows. Audio cues and visual cues both can help for this. Ah, uh, you see right there I had it. Now we wait and run. Actually, I don't recommend running. Use walks instead, that way your stamina can regen. Oh no! Ah, we're fine. It also seems that it doesn't go all the way to the right at the end, but yeah, there you go. That's man moding the bridge. It's all about getting into a weird type of rhythm with the arrows. And here I do a little victory cheer. Cheer, not hurrah. I was very excited about this. This was actually the, my first attempt and the first time I had ever done this. So, I feel like I got a little lucky. Next up is our good old friend, the Baby Nail Black Phantom. I came prepared this time, if you haven't noticed already. I bought enchanted Enchant Weapon with some of my extra souls. Now, I don't have an amazing magic stat on this strength build character, so it's not going to get that much more damage. And, you know, you think after doing this in my practice recording, I would have remembered this in the main recording, but no, I got hit in the back with that same arrow in the main recording. Anyway, Enchant Weapon is... I think if you have average magic, it's kinda... I think it'll give you about, like, a hundred boost to your damage. But... Even without anything, it's still a good boost in your damage overall. Now, what I'm doing is not actually what you want to do against this Black Phantom. Mainly because of that. The Baby Nail is a dagger weapon. And it does come out faster than most other weapons. So even if you can hit her and stun her, she'll still get a hit off on you, and that plague is vicious. Luckily, if you come down using the shortcut I did, there's some Widow's Lotus, so you can cure it. And like I said in the video, your first black phantom that you kill will always give you your black eye stone, the item that you use to invade. 
little sigh there for the bad showing against the Black Phantom, and let's just heal ourselves up to full. Now, last but not least, I want to show off a new game fight against the Fool's Idol. I have already killed the Channeler, I guess I'll call him, and I'm going to buff my weapon prior to going in. Try not to get caught on walls. And generally what you want to do is go down these side paths. There's no traps on the side paths. So you can just run up and down them, use them to move around the arena. A good thing to note is that even when the Fool's Idol is teleporting away, you can still swing at the spot that she was and do damage. I mentioned in the main video that there's a strategy for a very slow and steady one for taking her out. And that's what I'm doing right here. If you do enough damage to a clone, they will teleport away. This is actually generally on new game about one arrow. See, I shot that one in the back, and nope, she's gonna make a fool of me. Sometimes it takes more than one. Usually, you just have to shoot them once. Not knows on how strong your bow is. I'm pretty sure I actually upgraded my bow after this. It just wasn't doing the damage for me that I needed it. Anyway, so besides the point, let's talk about the fight. Now, while the side paths are generally the best bet, there are some traps there. Try and stick close to the wall. Always keep some healing items and get behind a pillar to heal yourself if you get hit by anything. Try and use the paths that the worshippers are on because, as Tato stated in the main video, those will take out the paralysis traps on the ground. If you're doing a safe strategy like I am here, once you've taken out all the copies, find the quickest line to the idol. Preferably that doesn't have to go across the middle because you'll generally hit a trap that way. Don't roll as much as I am because then when you come out, you won't have any stamina to swing at her. Little bit of a bad showing, I'm not gonna lie. However, sometimes you'll get lucky and she'll actually spawn someplace fairly close to the side, like that one over there. Or you'll get really lucky and she'll spawn in the back here. Now, that was actually a dangerous move for me because there was a paralysis trap right on the ground there. You could have seen it earlier in the video. But, I go in for the kill right here, and the Fool's Idol is down. Fool's Idol is definitely a different kind of boss. It's more about... well, more so than any other Demon Souls boss. It's more about planning your attacks very, very carefully. You don't want to rush in, or else you'll get swamped by all the soul arrows being fired at you. And you don't want to be too cautious, or else it's just going to take fucking forever. But that's he neither here nor there, and we're done for our highlight video. I thank you for joining me, and I'll see you on Sunday for the main video.